Volume 3. I've learned that you realize that you have locked the keys in your car the instant you slam the door shut. I've learned that a car only feels new until you make the first payment. I've learned that if you're going to pray about something, why worry? If you're going to worry, why pray? I've learned that a hug from my husband sends his strength into my body. I've learned that children do not want anything until after you've poured the milk into the cereal. And I've learned that you shouldn't choose a roommate who comes to look at the place with her boyfriend. I've learned that you shouldn't choose a roommate who comes to look at the place with her boyfriend. I've learned that you should never be too busy to say please and thank you. I've learned that you can't be a hero without taking chances. I've learned that I've never regretted doing any extra work. I've learned that if my mom's on a diet, everyone else is on a diet. And I've learned that the smell of a garden tool... I've learned that the small garden tools I can't find will be in plain sight as soon as I purchase new ones. I've learned that you should never give a wife an ironing board for Christmas, even if she needs a new one. I've learned that you should never attempt putting on a brand new pair of support hose of 90 degree weather after taking a shower. I've learned that if you have something material or physical that gets broken, lost or damaged, if it can be repaired, replaced or healed, then you have nothing to worry about. I've learned that when I'm feeling terribly unloved by someone, I need to ask myself, what have I done recently to love them? I've learned that a creative mess is preferably to idle neatness. I've learned that when my neighbor's children come over for the day, I make an appreciative mind. It, may, it makes me appreciate mine all the more. And I've learned that you should never park your car besides a beat-up car in the parking lot. And I've learned that you should get a puppy before you decide to have children. And I've learned that you should never let your wildest, craziest friend put her hand on the back of your head in front of a whipping cream cake. I've learned that there's more to life than keeping everything you own, including your person, looking like it's never been used. I've learned that there's nothing more in life than keeping everything you own, including your person, looking like it's never been used. And I've learned that while you've hated nap time in preschool, you would love for your manager to hand you a blanket, a pillow, and a glass of Kool-Aid at work. I've learned that even with my lights out, I can still find the cashews and mixed nuts. And I've learned the great value of the three F's. Forgive, forget, and forge ahead. And I've learned that you should never, ever eat cafeteria food when it looks like it's moving. I've learned that the better the doctor, the harder it is to read his or her handwriting. I've learned that my dad likes to get those sweet, mushy greeting cards as much as my mom does. I've learned that you should never use safety pins while changing a baby's diaper on a water bed. I've learned that any strong code of ethics is as reliable as a compass. And I've learned that self-pity is a waste of time. I've learned that I should, I should always laugh at my dad's jokes no matter how lame they are. I've learned that it's okay to feel sorry for yourself. Just don't let it last more than five minutes. I've learned that a good way to save money is to be too busy to go shopping. And I've learned that a good way to save money is to be busy. And I've learned that you should never tell your little brother that you're not going to do what your mom told you to do. I've learned that you should never hit a pile of dog dew with a weed whacker. I've learned that when my son is pitching, they all look like strikes to me. I've learned that when my husband misplaces one of his belongings, he expects me to know exactly where he left it. And I've learned that mothers don't always know best. Sometimes they're learning as they go along. And I've learned that when you're pushing yourself as far as you think you can go, you can always go just a little bit further. I've learned that a bottle of ketchup should be on the table three times a day if there's a child in the house. And I've learned that there's no feeling quite so nice as your child's hand in yours. And I've learned that there's no feeling. There's Of the things I've learned that... When you're in love, you always have something to talk about. I've learned that you should never be sarcastic with police officers. I've learned that what I call clean, my mom calls messy. I've learned that there's nothing better than to sit in, a, in the straw and hold a new foil's head in my lap. I've learned that the only time you're guaranteed not to getting something you want is when you don't try for it. And I've learned that red towels never stop fading. I've learned that no matter how small the kitchen, never buy a table with only two chairs. And I've learned that the best weight loss program is a broken heart. I've learned that when you tell your younger brother that he can fly, he'll try it. And I've learned that when you are away from college, you check the mailbox at least twice a day. 
And I've learned that to stay away from previous arguments, you need to stay away from the person you're having the argument with. And I've learned that you shouldn't ask for anything that costs more than $5 when your parents are doing the taxes. And I've learned that you should never leave your one-year-old Dalmatian alone in a room with a black permanent marker and a really clean carpet. And I've learned that the day the bill... I've learned that the day the bill that you're going to hide arrives will be the day your husband goes to get the mailbox first. I've learned that nothing smells as good as my boyfriend's favorite sweater. And I've learned that I know I'm growing old when my ballpoint pens are inscribed with the names of companies I now defunct. I've learned that men who wear boxer shorts are more fun. I've learned that when your wife asks you to kiss for a kiss, you shouldn't say I already did. And I've learned that when your daughter borrows your car, the radio dials are never where you set them. And I've learned that it takes you years to build up a trust that only seconds can destroy. I've learned that you should never try to push a pig around that's bigger than you. And I've learned that when a cook uses my grandma's recipes, my kitchen smells as good as hers. I've learned that when I cook using my grandma's recipes, my kitchen smells as good as hers. And I've learned that it's best to not discuss how many children I want to have while my wife is pregnant. And I've learned that living alone after an unhappy marriage is heaven. And I've learned that I want to exercise, but not now. I've learned that no matter how many expensive toys you lavish on your cats, they still prefer an empty paper sack. And I've learned that I can't dust the table with photo albums on it while stopping to look at the, without stopping to look at the pictures. And I've learned that the wives don't want advice. They just mostly want to be held. I've learned that you shouldn't hold a baby above your head after he's just eaten. And I've learned that it's not a good idea to try to break a new bra during a, tran a transcontinental flight. And I've learned that when a father takes a son fishing, the least important thing to either is whether they even catch a fish. And I've learned that being a teenager is as hard on your parents as it is on you. And I've learned that you should be careful when sitting down in a chair that has rollers. I've learned that working in a garden at sunrise has a tremendous effect on the soul. And I've learned that when you are having a family picnic, you shouldn't say that you don't like what you're eating because the person you're sitting next to might have prepared it. And I've learned that as a sixth grade teacher, I've learned as a sixth grade teacher that when I send more than two boys to the restroom at a time, the principal usually ends up bringing them back. And I've learned that we don't have to change friends if we understand that friends change. And I've learned that I shouldn't listen carefully to any advice my grandparents offer. It is the most I've learned that I should listen carefully to any advice my grandparents offer because it's the most valuable advice I can get. And I've learned that stopping at third base adds nothing to the score. I've learned that it's okay to give advice, but you shouldn't expect anyone to take it. And I've learned that falling in the snow is the prettiest when you see through the sunroof of a moving car. And I've learned that falling snow is prettiest when you see through the sunroof of a moving car. And I've learned that I shouldn't inhale through my nose when I'm eating powdered donuts. And I've learned that a good-looking doctor can make your blood pressure go up. And I've learned that you should never carry your lunch tray with one hand. I've learned that when you buy a car for the first time, your number of friends increases dramatically. And I've learned that your dog lives with you, but you live with your cat. I've learned that you should never underestimate a child's ability to get into more trouble. And I've learned that biscuits will not brown until you walk away from the oven, and then they burn. And I've learned that a funny hat can change your attitude. And I've learned that a broken cookie has fewer calories. I've learned that the side of the milk carton that says open here is harder to open than the other side. I've learned that if my best friend doesn't like my boyfriend, I should look for a new boyfriend. I've learned that pizza is good for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I've learned that sometimes just taking a nap can be the best medicine. I've learned that people have no interest in going into a room until they see that the door is shut. I've learned that everyone has two choices. Either you grow up and take responsibility for your life, or you don't. I've learned that good cooks never lack friends. I've learned that I should never write anything in my diary that I wouldn't want someone to read and that I shouldn't do anything that I wouldn't write in my diary. And I've learned that as you grow older everything seems to settle south. Sometimes you're lucky enough to have it to be your address as, as well. 
And I've learned that happiness is not how much you have, but your capacity to enjoy what you have. And I've learned that the biggest regret in life are the risks that you didn't take. And I've learned that you shouldn't cry over anything that can't cry back. And I've learned that some folks are like the bottom half of a fraction. The bigger they try to be, the smaller they really are. And I've learned that a childproof bottle of medicines are sometimes adult proof too. I've learned that cereal always tastes better from the little snack boxes. And I've learned that as soon as I've cleaned up the kitchen, someone says they're hungry. I've learned that maybe someday I'll be as perfect as I say I am when I fill out a job application. I've learned that it's easier to be patient with my granddaughter than it was with my own daughters when they were her age. I've learned that 6.8 earthquake makes all your other problems seem trivial. I've learned that 14 year old sisters can take literally any recipe that she says and mix it by hand. I've learned that you should never let a day pass without telling your wife you love her. I've learned that reading my son's favorite storybook to my grandson is a very pleasurable experience. And I've learned that you should never date a man who is prettier than you are. I've learned that if you say I love you to your parents, they're going to ask, what do you want? I've learned that you don't know a person until you've made them mad. And I've learned that my mom was right. All those popular promiscuous girls with the groovy clothes did amount to nothing. I've learned that wearing anything too small is a sure way to ruin my day. I've learned that a great personality can make someone seem to grow more attractive every day. And I've learned that those who can ask can... I've learned that those who ask, can you keep a secret? Can't. I've learned that the worst thing in life is to be without love. But toilet paper comes close to second. I've learned that no matter how anxious I may seem or send my kids off to school in the morning, nothing makes me happier than seeing them come home in the afternoon. I've learned that you have to reach for the stars. They're not just going to land on your front porch. I've learned that I think of my husband snoring as a happy cat purring. I can handle it better for a little while. I've learned that someone who has never said I'm sorry after five years relationship is not someone I want to spend the rest of my life with. I've learned that the gauge of success is not whether how you have tough problems is not whether you have tough problems but whether it's the same problem that you had to last a year and I've learned that the wealthiest of women is she whose daughter grows up to be her best friend and I've learned that it's impossible to win an argument with a six-year-old I've learned that the more you're hung the more you hurry the longer it takes to get to your school locker and the longer it takes to get the school locker open I've learned that the sweetest sound of all is my own name spoken by a girl I care about. I've learned that no matter how intelligent you are, there's always something to be learned from an older person. I've learned that when I'm angry, my mouth works faster than my brain. I've learned that praying for your enemies instead of fighting with them helps both of you. I've learned that after you retire, you spend half of your time looking for the things that you lose. I've learned that you enjoy time alone. You must first appreciate the person that you are with. I've learned that you should never try to ride your bicycle over a basketball. And I've learned that if you want immediate, an immediate high, give a homeless person $10. I've learned that you can live with choices that you've made with yourself, but you live to regret the choices that you let others make for you. I've learned that to find the best places in town to eat, ask a fireman and a policeman. I've learned that in relationships, it's better to have an end with misery than a misery without an end. And I've learned that you have a job without any other problems and a job without any problems, then you don't have much of a job. I've learned that if you spend your life always looking forward to something else, the present slips away. I've learned that you lose only the expensive sunglasses and pens. The cheap ones are always sound. I've learned that at age 25, you're finding yourself. At age 45, you know yourself. and 65, you could be yourself. I've learned that anger is an ill wind that blows out the lamp of reason. I've learned that you can... You can't raise your family or run a business by remote control. And I've learned that the only thing that you can be sure of improving is yourself. And I've learned that work is when you sweat and you don't like it. And leisure is when you sweat and you don't care. I've learned that you should never mention ice cream while babysitting if you're not sure there's some in the refrigerator. And I've learned that bragging on your children is one of life's greatest pleasures. I've learned that there's no advertising as effective or something recommended by it a friend